with that in mind, we're actually just going to get into our first topic, which if you guys haven't been paying attention, this is going to be the Deadpool spoiler cast or spoiler cast section. So let's talk Deadpool 2 spoilers. Um, it, it was a movie that definitely takes what the first one did. And in some regards, I think imp it improves on it. But I think in some regards, it doesn't live up to what the first one did. That's like my takeaway from the movie. Oh, it's, it kind of confirmed everything I was worrying about. Yeah, you know, I was saying it like a fair few times that it, I, it's a comedy sequel, and comedy sequels always do certain things. And this did exactly that. It relied way too much on previous jokes. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember that thing? We're gonna do it but longer. Yeah. Remember baby? Or we're gonna up the baby head. Yeah, it, and that was the thing. And my worry is, it's like I don't want them to fall into this trap where that's what they're gonna be doing repeatedly because I think they're better than that if that makes sense so you know it's uh, it it's weird and just to kind of quickly um add it in here also we did our box office predictions it turns out all of us went overboard yep, uh but yep. tristan was the closest with going overboard so yeah um, the movie <laughs> didn't do as good as the first one and i think people are blaming a lot of infinity war but I'm just going to be real with you guys. I don't think it's Infinity War alone. I think there's a lot of other problems that are in this. Plus, like, the sequel. Sequel, I just, like, Age of Ultron didn't do as good as the first Avengers. Because you can't capture that lightning in a bottle two times in a row. Unless you're the Russo brothers with Infinity War. Then you smash the lightning in a bottle, you know? It's also, it's in a weird place. Like, it's three weeks after Infinity War and a week before Solo. Mm -hmm. Like, people are still going to go see Infinity War or they're going to wait until Solo. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I mean, from from what you guys are saying, it's like how one of the trailers for Deadpool two, where they kind of, well, where Deadpool actually says, Deadpool one was this high, we're aiming for that middle ground. This is yeah. where that actually landed for. I mean, yeah, if you want to go for like a really meta, uh, like context, it, mm -hmm. it kind of did exactly that. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, we're kind of uh, well. We're, we're, exist what i find the funniest thing is i don't know if you guys watch tv or anything when it's live um i was watching a the agents of shield episode live right and they had a deadpool ad and it starts with the second best movie of the summer besides infinity war and i was like you just called yourself out like i i, I understand he's breaking the fourth wall it's like oh look we can't live up to that but i think that's also kind of like oh well, okay, so some people aren't going to understand that at face value because not everybody understands Deadpool. So it's like, and you know, some people are going to look at that and go, Marvel, Marvel. Oh, Marvel's even telling me that this isn't as good as the other movie, so why don't I go see that? That kind of felt weird to me in that marketing sense. I don't, I don't know. And then when it came to the movie, I felt that there was a few missing elements, if that makes sense to you. Like, like they tease Sinister, again, the entire movie, but he's not there. Again, <laughs> it's... Yeah. like, what are they saving Sinister for? I mean, clearly like... the reboot. I mean, it could be the reboot, but is it X Force? Because <laughs> that's two movies now. He's... No, is it two or three movies now? Uh, three movies he's been teased in. Yeah. So I don't really know, unless they're just taking the piss out of the whole Thanos thing, and then they're going to make a joke out of that, which they they could easily do. But you know, they missed a massive joke in this one. With what they did with the plot, I don't know if they'd miss it again. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, people, I've been arguing this with people. I'm like, the movie doesn't matter. And people are like, no, no, that's the joke. I was like, the joke is telling me that I shouldn't have seen this movie because it doesn't matter. Like, I'm like... Yeah, that, that, I understand what they did. And I get it. It's funny. Like, it, it does work. But at the same time, the rules of the movie literally tell me I've wasted an hour and a half of my life. Mm-hmm. So, like, sure, like the X Men don't have a timeline, so why would anything matter? Like, yeah, I get it, haha. Ha. But uh, can we not do stuff like this? Because I just wasted my time, yeah. especially for a thing that I found not great. Like, it, it, it's perfectly serviceable as an action movie. But... Yep. Well, like I said, and uh, you know, I'm trying to make the distinction of reviewing the comic book movies now and giving my opinion with two grades. Reviewing it as a sequel to the universe they've established, and then reviewing it as a film. Because I think sometimes they don't line up necessarily, and sometimes they do. Like, Infinity War is a great film and a great entry in the MCU. 
Deadpool, Deadpool, the second one specifically, Deadpool 2 felt like a serviceable sequel, but not as great of a film as the first one. And I think the decreased budget that they had for the first one was what helped that movie feel more coherent because they couldn't go over the top as much as they wanted to because they were limited with money. So they had to do what they had, right? And it, that was like a lot of the issue I felt with Deadpool 2 going into it and walking out of it. I was like, I like it, but like Cable, for everything he's given... I still don't know who he is. And I know people go like, well, he's the son of Cyclops and Hope is this mutant savior. I was like, the movie never tells me that. We can't count the comics to give me the backstory for someone who's never read the comics. So that's not fair. So you have to grade it on its own merits, you know? Yeah, and that's a massive problem with the movie. Like Everyone's hyping up how great Cable and Domino were. It's like, they're fantastic set pieces in mm -hmm. this movie. That's all they are. They have no character. You don't know who they are. What yep. you, you know what Cable's trying to do. But outside of that, you don't know anything about him. So, you bring up Domino, and that's another thing. I like how she was portrayed. I've been saying since the beginning, I think Domino will be a great character. But, by the time the movie ended, I still didn't know who Domino was. No. Like, she, she was she, great, she, sure, but what was it? Like, who was she? I don't know. Like, she's literally, or the pair of them are Quicksilver. Yeah. They got a character, they just stared for a set piece. Mm -hmm. And it's, unless, I'm sure, like, X-Force... If they ever get that script going in time for October, they can focus on those two characters and give them an arc. But the only people that had an arc in this was Colossus and Colossus the Kid and Deadpool. But yeah. then Deadpool wipes his own arc out at the end anyway, so what's the point? And then effectively wiping the other two out. So nothing changes in this movie. It's completely irrelevant to everything else now. It is. And I mean, people are really going to think that we're just like hating this movie and and that, that's not true i'm not hating it i just think that in a time and place where we're literally just now following up infinity war maybe you have to step your game up a little bit just a little bit and i understand like this movie is based a lot on like jokes and topical things right but again some of these jokes fell flat like why why was there Frozen jokes. Frozen was like what five years ago? Why was dubstep a joke? Yeah, like, the the first movie was too late to make that joke. Right. Well, he, he, though they are kind of late because dubstep was like popular around what 2011. Yeah, and that's probably when it was dying. So the, like the first movie was too late to even make that. But, but I, I don't I don't know. It, it's just they made some weird choices with the comedy. Like a lot, it, it about probably fifty fifty. Like, a lot of it worked, a lot of it didn't work. But... Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just... It's, it's, it's weird, because there's stuff I like, there's stuff I don't like, there's stuff that falls flat, there's stuff that reaches great heights. So, and like, Juggernaut, for example. I thought Juggernaut was awesome. Like, he was finally done the way he should be handled. Like, he was a beast. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I don't agree with everyone going, oh, he's redeemed. It's like, well, was he? No, again, the... The quote villain, if you can say this movie has one, <laughs> have an arc. He just appears. Mm -hmm. It's like they. It's a shame because they look. They've clearly looked at um, that X Force run where Deadpool has a choice of killing Kid Apocalypse. Yeah, because it's literally the same plot in this. But you know, they, they took some. Like, obviously, they changed a lot of it and had the little hunt for the world of people kid, who can't actually see the film because he's too young. Um, but I don't know, like, it's just... It was a weird film. It was good for the most part. It's a good action movie. It's kind of a sucky comedy movie. But then it just, it's insistent on undermining itself. You know? <sighs> That's it's, exactly how I feel. You know, like, Ryan Reynolds did the whole piss take of the Thanos the Manager Silence thing. And he spoiled it in there. And then the first 30 seconds of the movie spoils the ending then. It's like, why... Like, you, you've taken the meta the meta context of everything a bit too far. Mm -hmm. don't, don't ruin your own movie for the sake of a joke. And they did that too many times. Um, yeah, but... That's, that's exactly how it felt. Like there's, there's <laughs> jokes sometimes that are a little too far. And some that aren't, um, I, I don't know. It's just, it felt weird. The movie felt weird to me. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And for all the things I like about it, it just, it didn't hit those heights. And I don't, 
Like, it was the first time I've walked away from one of these movies that I've been hyped for. Where I'm like, you know, I don't need to see that in the theater again. I think I've gotten everything I wanted to from the movie in one viewing. It's like, I think I need to watch it again because I can't remember a lot that happened. Yeah. It, it, I found it really forgettable. Like, it's, it's not, it was nice watching it, but afterwards, like, the next day I woke up, it's like, I have no idea what happened. I remember right. Cable. It doesn't help that no one really had an arc. So there's not much to really like chew on, but it it was fine. It it will make a decent half, mid like halfway point in the trilogy if they get that far. But. Yeah, I, I think. And let's just quickly talk for a second about Deadpool or Deadpool three or X Force, which probably will be X Force, right? Um, if you look at it as like the third, maybe it's the conclusion to this Deadpool because it might be when Disney takes it over. What exactly do you do then? Because I don't think in X-Force we get Cable's entire backstory or Domino. And it's going to be the Deadpool show regardless because Ryan Reynolds is still going to be involved with the creation. So I, I feel like for all the hype up that Rob Liefeld does, it's going to be the Avengers but R-rated. I don't think it is. I really don't no. think it is. No. Um, especially after this one, I think unless it starts picking up, you know, it's not like I'm going to say it's failed. It's made far more than the first one did in total at this point. And it's, it could maybe hit a billion. It could get close to it. Um, but then that's if, or depending on the second weekend, really. But I, I don't know if that's going to damage it. You know, they, they, they throw X-Force out of the way in this movie immediately, which I get it. There's, um, oh, who's the one that does the acid vomit? What's his name? Yum. I can't. But um, it's the one that Michael Ulrich created in Ecstatic or X-Force. But, like, he should have been a giveaway that they all get offed instantly because him and, I think, Bedlam die straight away in their first appearances. Yeah, I didn't but, like that. <laughs> it was it was funny, and, like, Peter being the only one that survives at the end was kind of funny. But I don't know, I don't know if that was possibly the right choice to make, especially when you're clearly trying to advertise X-Force. That's probably no doubt going to be next year if they start in October. So. Yeah. I don't know. He some questions made with this movie, and you know, I'm not sure if it was the right ones. So. Makes money, makes money, they'll no doubt be a third one. Unless they have Deadpool 3 as X-Force. I'm certain they said X-Force wasn't going to be a Deadpool story, so... Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll talk about it when we get to it, but for now, I think it just remains at that. It's like, it's a movie that exists, and I'll watch it again when it releases, and then I'll have a better understanding of it. So, I guess that's our and, Deadpool 2 spoilers. <laughs> before we move on, it was Zyke, guys, so thank you, chat. I completely forgot their name. Oh, how I, yeah. It's like, but... Yeah, Zyke, guys. Yep, that was him. So... Thank God. It was off. Nah, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> so um, going off that onto our next topic Deadpool 2 was a thing in the past now we go to Spider-Man